Hello guys, today let's take a look at how to use this Kugik uh, blood pressure monitor. And there are four buttons on the device and six features. First, it's irregular heartbeat detection and it's fully automatic. It has low battery indicator. Also, it's capable to memorize 99 records, which is a good thing for you to uh, make scientific decision, I think. And the last one, automatic shut off. And this one is, uh, seems not that important. LCD display, okay, jumbo LCD display. Okay, uh, let's just jump into the device and the manufacturer, uh, English, uh, no, not, not manufacturer, manual, instruction manual, English uh, version. And the device is it's simple, but not simple in usage, I think. Okay, first, a lot of people, when they get, it, get the device from the package, they would just uh, wear it this way. But this is the wrong way, okay? And some people would even uh, put it on the right hand. This is even more wrong, okay? No, more wrong, yeah. Moron would do that, okay? Uh, pay attention to this little, this area, because this is where you should read before you actually use it. First, you have to place the device on the inside of your wrist with your palm facing upward. So this is telling you the right way to use this device. I will follow it. Yeah, pl place on the inside of my, of my uh, hand, of my wrist. And second, uh, adjust the position of this device on your hand and position your hand at heart level. This is important because you want to, you, if you want to get the accurate uh, result, you have to follow this kind of instruction. Position your hand at heart level. Now as I am sitting, and uh, placing my hand on the table, my hand is actually at my heart level. Yeah, it's parallel to the height of my heart. But if I am going to monitor my blood pressure uh, while I am standing, I have to raise my arm to the height of my uh, heart, yeah, at my heart level, to make sure that it gets a better result, more accurate. And second, and the last point, Last but not least at, at all, do not move, talk, or tighten muscles during the measurement. So some people, when taking the uh, blood, blood pressure, they would fist their hand. That's wrong because you are tightening actually your muscle. Just uh, relax your hand while you uh, take your blood temp, uh, pressure. Okay, uh, there are four buttons. It's very easy to use. When you make sure that it's uh, on, your, on, on the inside of your hand, press this button. And it's uh, inflating the ear into the band. And when it's ready, it will be monitoring your blood pressure, heartbeat, and other parameters. So we wait a second. Oh, he adds more pressure into the band. See my fingers are turning red. A little bit red. Okay, it takes about less than one minute to get the result, I think. And I'm happy to see the, the little heart flashing, which proves that I'm still alive. Okay. 
This Your blood pressure is systolic, 122 millimeter of mercury, diastolic, 81 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 73. Your blood pressure is normal. Yeah, normal. Happy to hear this word. Okay, uh, now there are other. F uh, it's, uh, it seems this device is very simple and uh, straightforward, but actually there are more functions that you need to learn how to use because you can get better uh, from this device. <coughs> okay, I'm going to turn it off. This, uh, these buttons, you can press it for once or you can press it for uh, a couple of seconds and you'll, you'll jump, you will be directed into different functions. First I'll press it. Last time, systolic, 122 millimeter of mercury. Diastolic, 81 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 73. Okay, okay. Apparently, when you press it for once, you can see your previous records. And this is uh, the last one. And I press it again. Last time, systolic. Yeah. And, and you'll see time, more and more records. Time, it's actually time, able to record 99 records. Okay. Mercury, and I turn it off. Now this time, instead of pressing it for once, I'll press it for a couple of seconds. English. Yeah. You will be uh, diverted into the language change. English. Three language uh, choices. Okay. And this button, if you press the for once. The average of your recent measurements is systolic 110 millimeter of mercury, diastolic 75 millimeter of mercury. Your pulse was 76. Okay, this time as we see H, it means hours. Uh, so we are seeing the results, the average uh, of my results. Uh, the average of your recent measurements is systolic. Date. One, the average of your uh, recent the past is seven days. Systolic. The average of your recent measurements so, is systolic. So last amount. One hundred and ten. The average of your recent measurements is systolic. The average of your so this button is for you to see the average of your measurement and uh, let's try to turn it off and this time I'll press it longer okay now you get to change the time of the device so why do we need to see the time of the device because certainly you need to know when you when you had had taken the uh, your blood pressure and also uh, this in triggers another function. You you can set a time to uh, activate the alarm function, which means it can remind you to take regular blood pressure monitor. Okay, and uh, let's try to use it. Now we we'll, we we'll see the off. Uh, if we turn it on and press confirm, we activate it. The, the alarm function. Now, this is the first set of alarm, and I'm going to uh, activate more. It's on, okay, and I can change the time. Eight, okay, uh, like 11. I want, I, w I want it to remind me to take my uh, blood pressure at 11 o'clock, and I confirm it. So this is the, set, the second set of alarm. So there are uh, many alarms that you can set to remind you to take regular measurement. Okay, that's all for this. And the last one, press it for once. You'll see nothing. Let's see what, 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 what can we find. We will just see the, the time. Okay, we'll press it for longer. Let's see what do we get. Turn it off. Measuring over. Press it. Oh nothing. 
I'll press it for once. Measuring over. Wait a moment. Okay, uh, this button I will try to tell you more when I am getting more familiar with this blood pressure, a uh, cookie smart blood pressure monitor. Okay, and that's all about this device. Hope you can make good use of it. And thanks for watching.